Hey, this is Jonas making video games with you and today I want to implement walls or pathfinding into my game Oversnova. This is a little more difficult, I don't know if you can finish it today, but first of all let's explain why this is so complicated and how I plan to do this. You know, you have to worry a little bit about performance and all that sort of stuff, so let's have a short look-see at the problem. So I'm probably gonna do grid-based pathfinding. Now those red things are enemies, those blue things are eggs. <sighs> you see the point? We don't know if the closest one is also the one that is really the closest one when we consider all the walls. <laughs> if we used standard pathfinding we would have to do pathfinding from the sky to every single egg in the entire room just to figure out which egg is actually the closest one? We don't want to do that. Sounds like it would cost a lot of performance. So what I want to use is flood fill pathfinding and what that allows us to do is to use pretty much as many enemies as we want and how it works is relatively simple. Pretty much fill the entire screen with paths. So we start directly next to the eggs and say, okay, this is the shortest path to the egg. This is the shortest path to the egg. And once we've done that, we can just start with the next fields. Ta-da! And suddenly we know in a two-tile radius what the closest way to the egg is. And then if we just keep doing this, if we do this again, and again and again, then suddenly all those red creatures need to do is just follow the paths, because at some point we just have the entire map filled with those blue paths that basically just show the direction to the closest egg and then all the enemies need to do is follow those directions. That is pretty good for the performance if you have a lot of enemies. The bad thing about this is that it costs a lot of performance to generate it. So we'll have to see if that is a trade-off worth taking at the moment, I think. Yeah, probably. So we're gonna try it. And then also one problem with this is that the paths are not really a direct connection, but they have some straight lines and some di diagonal lines, so maybe enemies don't always take the straight route, but take a little bit of a janky path with some edgy directions, but we'll see, we'll see. So what I'll do is I'll create a new Game Maker project because I don't want to just program that in the Oversnova project, I just want to try out if this works, how it performs, and then if it works we can bring it into the Oversnova project. So let's start a new little Game Maker project and right there. A few moments later. <laughs> it's always the best if the day starts with writing a bug report to UU Games because they can't fix their f A few moments later. Oh hey, do you know what's even better if you write a bug report and then figure out it was your own mistake all along? A few moments. Okay, here you can see how I build systems like this from ground up and the, the important part is that you really take it step by step. Don't try to create everything at once. Really just think about What's the first important step I need to take and then do that. Green are the eggs, red are the enemies. So a little prototype of how this could look later on, how a level like this could look. And now everything I did is I transferred this data to an array, to a, buff, to a buffer that stores this data and that I can use to perform my calculations because I cannot do the calculations purely with the objects right here. First thing I did is I transformed it to that format and made sure that everything shows up at the correct position. Here you can see a little bit of how this is drawn. As you can see I'm using buffers and I use a for loop to loop through that buffer and yeah that's the first step. Let's continue with the next step. Okay I got a little further now but visualizing this stuff is so important you can clearly see this is completely messed up, this is not how it should look like at all. Basically what I want to show is the distance to the closest egg. Firstly it's a very small radius, secondly why the hell did all of the walls disappear? We should see, still see the walls in black. Also why does it only check the distance to the right? So I'll try to find the bugs. Let's see. This is way better but far from perfect. As you can see the walls are still not there and those white lines here are supposed to show the direction towards the closest egg. At the moment they are showing hieroglyphs. I have absolutely no idea, no clue. <laughs> okay look guys, now it looks relatively good. The only thing that doesn't look good is the calculation time because it takes really long to calculate. While calculating we have zero frames per second, that's way too long. But then it looks like this, like a beautiful rainbow and basically the color tells you how far each field is away from the next egg and then the little line 
tells you in which direction you need to go to get to the next egg. Uh, it's a little hard to see because there are no there are no arrows, there are just lines that face in the correct direction. The only problem is uh, here in the edges the pathfinding slips through and in order to fix that I would have to use up even more calculation time so for now let's just plug those holes <laughs> with additional blocks and then hopefully we can find additional ways to speed this up because the performance at the moment is absolutely not acceptable. Okay so here's one speed up you can do in Game Maker that works pretty much all the time and is not all that difficult to set up. Just change the target platform from virtual machine to UU compiler and all you need to do for that is install Visual Studio and link to the Visual Studio path in the preferences. So this this is virtual machine and what virtual machine means is that all of the code is interpreted so it's not really compiled and as you can see here we have zero frames per second if I press the enter button in the virtual machine so it's taking more than one frame to calculate the paths if I switch to virtual machine and try the same thing we already have two frames per second woohoo so that's let's say about four times as fast three times as fast four times as fast but of course it's still not enough it's far from perfect uh, yeah, I kind of want to make it work with a level of that size so obviously I could increase the performance dramatically by making the level a lot smaller that would help a lot okay now look at that I added a lot more enemies to the room so we can check the performance a lot more and as you can see they automatically walk towards the closest X now and you can place new X. Unfortunately, their performance is really bad. You can see the FPS value up here, 20 frames per second. I improved it a little bit because the entire calculation is not done every single frame now. The calculation is done over the course of 60 frames. So basically we have split the calculation time it needs through 60. But then also if, if we place a, an egg right here, those creatures will take quite a while to realize that there's an egg here because it doesn't get updated that often but at least I can place eggs now in real time and we can also watch the pathfinding being done in real time if we press the overlay button that I coded in and here you can basically see how the flood fill algorithm works it just starts from the X and basically fills the entire screen with the correct direction and with the correct distance the X just tell the creatures where to go basically. <laughs> if there are no more eggs or if the eggs are too far apart from each other it might happen that one egg isn't able to color the entire screen in time. For example if we look at the area up here it doesn't get painted because we don't go through enough iterations to paint all of that. If I place an egg here now then obviously this area will be filled again. And yeah this is virtual machine by the way if I switch to UU compiler it looks a lot better. Now as you can see the game runs a lot faster. Not with 60 unfortunately but with 50 frames per second so more than twice as fast which is also already a massive improvement but not nearly as good as I want it to be so we'll have to do some further improvements on that. If I place an egg here they take so long to realize that they can go there. They feel really stupid this one as well because it just takes so long to update the pathfinding. <laughs> Looks really interesting though when you see how how the entire screen is filled. Yeah, very nice, very nice. If you have any questions about how this system works, ask them in the comments. I tried to explain a little bit how all of this works in the video, but I could imagine that it's a little hard to understand. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. There will be a part two of this video where we continue developing the system and improving the performance and implementing this into the game. And also if we only had that little checkers performance wouldn't be an issue <laughs> but we have a lot more checkers or I want to have a lot more checkers so I can make the walls a lot smaller and all of that sort of stuff and therefore I want to continue improving the performance and spending a little time on improving the performance is not a bad idea anyway so other than that thank you very much for watching have an amazing day make the world your playground and see you in the next one peace